today's busy life, all of us feel less energetic. The body is paining here and there and we are not able to conceive at the right time. Can you guess the reason for all such problems? The main cause is the food we eat. But these problems can be easily solved by having the right kind of nutritious food. Today's video is about pre-pregnancy nutrition. The main idea is to tell you how can you prepare your body well for the pregnancy? How can you conceive easily a healthy baby? I welcome you all to my channel Life, Health and Food. Being a parent is one of the most cherishable moments of one's life. But yes, it do comes with a lot of responsibilities for which the body and mind should be prepared. The best way to do this is through food. Pre-pregnancy nutrition is equally important for both men and women. So, before listing out the list of essential nutrients, I would like to talk about certain points. Firstly, all the ladies out here should know their BMI. BMI is Body Mass Index. It should be somewhere between 18.5 to 24.9. If you are in between the range, it is perfectly normal. There is no need to worry. There is no need to watch out for your weight. But if you are overweight, then you need to shed some kilos. Because it will not only create a problem in conceiving, but it will be very difficult to lose weight after you deliver your baby. Obese women have a high risk of gestational diabetes, eclampsia and pregnancy induced hypertension. If you are underweight, then you need to gain some healthy weight. Because being underweight is the main cause of anemia and growth retardation. So firstly, all of us should check our BMI and should lie in between the range. Secondly, which is the most important point is don't take any kind of stress. No home stress, no work stress, just relax. Not even the stress that we are not being able to get pregnant because it will further worsen the situation. It won't help. Just relax and let the things flow. Automatically you will get pregnant. Thirdly, avoid intake of pre-processed and packaged food because the food is rich only in calories, it is loaded with chemicals and preservatives, it does not have any kind of nutrition. Try and switch to homemade preservative free snacks which are easy to make, they are not so difficult. At least try. Lastly, you should have a proper sleep of 7 to 8 hours. A good 7 to 8 hours sleep is important for relaxing and rejuvenating your body. Now, I will list out the essential nutrients which are required by the body. The number one on the list is folic acid. Folic acid is important for having a healthy baby. It reduces the birth defects of brain and spine in the baby. Some of the good sources of folic acid are cooked bhindi, then we have cooked turnips, beetroot, peas and our favorite rajma also known as kidney beans and all kind of lentils that is dal. It is very important to include these in your daily diet. Second nutrient which I am going to talk about is calcium. Calcium is important for bones, heart and muscles. Good sources of calcium include milk, dahi, paneer, tofu, spinach, okra, and sources of calcium also include homemade freshly prepared mosni juice. It is very refreshing and it is a good source of calcium too. Is vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 is important for sperm maturation. It is also important for increasing the chances of conceiving a baby. Its deficiency leads to miscarriage. So good sources of vitamin B12 include dahi. Rather, I should say any fermented food like sprouts, idli, dhokla, curry. They are good sources of vitamin B12. All vegetarians must include these sources in the daily diet because they are the only sources of vitamin B12. Next on the list is vitamin D. 
Vitamin D is important for calcium absorption. Take at least 10 to 15 minutes in a morning sunlight without applying sunscreen will be sufficient for vitamin D absorption into the body. And other sources of vitamin D include fish oil, egg, milk and dairy. Next on the list is vitamin E. Vitamin E is linked to fertility as it increases sperm count in men and it also increases the egg quality in women. It is a very important uh, nutrient which should be consumed by both men and women. Good sources of vitamin E are all kind of nuts. Have a handful of dry fruits every day. Include them in your daily diet for both men and women it is important. Then the other sources of vitamin D include egg yolk, tomato, olives. Next on the list is vitamin B6. Vitamin B6 is also linked to fertility as it increases the egg quality and it is also helpful for having a good hormonal balance between the estrogen and the progesterone. Good sources of vitamin B6 include milk, carrot, spinach, eggs. The last nutrient is iron. Iron is important as it carries the oxygen in our blood. Its deficiency leads to lack of oxygen in the body which is very harmful before the pregnancy as well as in the pregnancy. To meet the iron requirements, we can have all kind of dals. All kind of dals or lentils are good sources of iron. Then all kind of beans, spinach, beetroot, pomegranate and potato. These were the essential nutrients which are required by the body. Try and include every nutrient into your diet. Try and have home cooked well balanced diet that will be helpful. Instead of taking those pills, those pills are not easily absorbed by the body. The nutrient you want to provide will not be easily absorbed in the body. Try and include a home cooked well balanced meal. If you do meal planning, it will be easy for you. If you plan beforehand, it will be easy for you to do the grocery shopping and accordingly prepare the food. Thank you all for watching the video. I hope this video will be helpful. And if there are any queries, please put it down in the comment box. I will try and answer them all. Bye for now. And lastly, I want to say stay blessed and be healthy. Bye bye. If you like the video, please hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel for further videos.